Mr. Y Christmas, I miss the snow. I'm Mr. Icicle, I'm Mr. Timbalow. Friends call me Snow Miser, whatever I touch turns the snow in my clutch. Ah, 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 I'm too much. Ah, ah, ah. He's Mr. Y Christmas, he's Mr. Snow. He's Mr. Icicle, he's Mr. Timbalow. Friends call me Snow Miser, whatever I touch, turns the snow in my clutch. <laughs> I'm too much. I never want to know a day that's over 40 degrees. I'd rather have it 30, 20, and 5 and let it freeze. He's Mr. White Christmas. He's Mr. Snow. That's right. He's Mr. Icicle. He's Mr. Timbalow. Friends call me Snow Miser. Whatever I touch turns the snow in my clutch. Ha ha ha! I'm too much. <laughs> oh man, now that was a performance. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my musical performance of I'm Mr. Y Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> man, I love that song. Anyways, guys, as you can tell, that's what we're going to be um, reviewing today. It's actually, um, that, that special is actually included in one of the DVDs for doing the day. And also, my hat's gone. Hey, could you, um, can you get in my hat here? That, 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 that's not how to put my hat on. Can you put my... You put my hat up. No, no, it keeps falling off. You gotta open the hat up. There you go. There you go. You gotta do that. What What the hell is wrong with you? Just put my hat on. You know, just just do it. Don't give me that sass. Okay, hand. Okay, just just put it on my head. Put it on my head. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What is wrong with you? I can't see anything doing this. What? What the frick? I can't see anything. That's not the right thing to do. I, I can't tell if you're doing anything or not right now. You might be mocking me. You better not be mocking me outside of this hand. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I can't do a review like this. I guess I have no... Mm, mm, go, go, oh god damn it. My stick even came off. That's just perfect. That's, that's just great. I can't even perform properly. Great. Now I have to stay like this for the rest of this day. God, can't even put my damn stick back on. Oh dear god. Anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and get the DVD, because I just, let's see, where, where am I? Okay. Ow! Ow! What the hell is that? I think it was pointy. Let's see here. Ow! Is that the tree? Oh, wrong place. Okay. That's not the library. Okay, let, what, what about here? What about here? Oh, oh, wait, that, that's the camera. Oh. What about over here? Alrighty now, it's time for me to find the next DVD. Okay, let's see, we got Tom and Jerry, more Tom and Jerry. Another Tom and Jerry. Huh, not Tom and Jerry. Like a Ninjago. Huh, I haven't revisited that in a while. Oh, here it is. Santa's Magical Stories. Let's do this. <laughs> well, I was able to get my hat fixed, so here you guys go. Here is the thing we're taking a look at today. Santa's Magical Stories. What's so magical about this? I have no clue. No clue at all why this is magical. Magical that we have magical beings like a talking snowman, a, a freaking freak of a reindeer, a green person, which is just, you know, incredible that that exists. And of course, we have an old man that looks that happy. I mean, wh what kind of old man is that happy? I mean, they're going to die in a couple of years, probably in a month. So why are they that happy? Huh. I guess that's the magical thing about this DVD. Anyways, guys, it's time to go ahead and start unboxing it. So roll the clip. Hey, hey, what the hell? Well, why would you do that? When you see Santa and you see Rudolph, you'll be leading my sleigh in no time. And the Grinch. And Frosty, too. It can only mean one thing. Christmas is practically here. The holiday specials are here. Yay! Come on, everybody. Here we go. Give the gift of holiday magic on DVD with Santa's Magical Stories, a collection of seven Rankin-Bass holiday favorites, plus the Dr. Seuss classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I must stop Christmas from coming. In one incredible three-disc gift set. What a great invention. Whether you grew up watching them or you're seeing them for the very first time. That is so cool. 
No holiday should be without these delightful... These are the letters we wrote to Santa. Musical... In a one-horse open sleigh. Christmas treasures. Tonight we ride! Santa's Magical Stories on DVD. Yours to own along with these other favorites. Look for them all this holiday. Happy Christmas to all. All right, everybody. So right here, I have Santa's Magical Stories. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing right now. So, of course, on the cover, of course, we have to have big-ass Santa himself right there being all jolly, holly, and stolly and stuff. Of course, we got Rudolph, black, really black Rudolph, because for some reason in this section, Rudolph is has a really weird new design but I don't care about it and also we have stop motion frosty which is cool I love that special and of course of the Grinch which I love the original Grinch not Jim Carrey not illumination but I just love the original Grinch cartoon classic I love this okay so also uh, on the side of course it says Santa's magical stories Ooh, it's it's magical, you know. It, it, it's it's totally magical because it says it. Don't, don't question it. Of course, we got Santa right here, full body, really, really full. And of course, we got it. Um, this is the side cover. Warner Brothers made this crap. Um, also here is the here is the back where it tells you where all the shorts come in, and um, it comes with three discs, of course. Uh, if you want to read all that in your spare time, if you really care and want to, really, um do that I guess you could but I'm not going to <laughs> read all this so yeah eight magical holiday story what what is with magical are the I guess most of these have magic in them I guess okay so we're gonna open it up we have you know the Grinch his first discs because he's the Grinch I guess I don't know I don't really know I don't know what I'm saying guys I'm trying to make this entertaining okay Santa's magical stories right here um what am I saying of course this is this is the deep I'm getting confused. Okay, this is this is the Year Without Santa Claus DVD, and this is the um, the Jack Frost DVD. I know it has Frosty on there, but this is the Jack Frost DVD, which is kind of funny and ironic that Jack Frost isn't actually on this one. I mean, on the cover, and Frosty is, but he is on the DVD, so yeah. I, I, I think that's just kind of ironic. But okay, yeah, that is it. That is the unboxing. Not much to this DVD at all. Not much. Not a, Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and go over the bonus features. Of course, all the specials that are included in this. Now, and people don't buy this DVD set for its bonus features, which, it, if you do, I don't know what's wrong with you, but it does come with one bonus feature, which is Grinch commentary and extorted fun featurettes. That's all. That's all the bonus features. So anyways, let's talk about what actual specials that actually come with this. Of course, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which is... I love that. I love it. It's so much better than all the other Grinch movies and stuff. I love this special. I would, As a kid, I would rewatch it all the time on repeat. So, yeah, I love the Grinch. Then, we, of course, we have um, the Leprechaun's Christmas Gold, which is a thing that exists. Leprechaun celebrating Christmas, which, on, in all honesty, that movie hardly feels like it's a Christmas movie at all. And I just do not like it at all. I really do not like the special. It's really badly done. I just... Uh, it annoys me. The special annoys me. I'm not going to go much into it. And then, of course, comes my favorite stop-motion um, little thing that comes in here, which is Pinocchio's Christmas. I love this one. It has, it's probably the funniest one out of all of these because Pinocchio is such a dumb idiot. I just... I love how stupid Pinocchio is. Maybe because he's wooden doesn't have a little brain. But I feel like... I, I, it makes sense that he doesn't have common sense. That's why the cricket is his conscience. Because Pinocchio has no common sense thinking he can grow a money tree and then running away all the time. And for some reason, he th he always believes the wolf and the freaking... I'm well, not the wolf, the fox and cat. Which I love the, uh, the freaking wolf and... Why are you calling a wolf? He's a fox and a cat. The fox and the cat are the funniest characters in this. I love them. They have this, this funny musical number where lightning strikes me down. Like, that is hilarious. I love that. And then, of course, one of the most catchiest songs. Let's go dancing, dancing. Let's go dancing. Dancing, dancing. Let's go dancing. Of course, gonna get lucky. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Gonna get lucky. Knock on wood. Gonna get rich and famous. You know, I like that. I like the songs in the Pinocchio one. So Pinocchio, I've always watched it every year. I've already watched it this year. So Pinocchio has always been one of my favorites. And next song on next disc, we have A Year Without Santa Claus that also comes with I, Mr. Y, Christmas. I, Mr. Snow. Hey, hey, we're already sung a musical number. You don't have to be singing. Okay, fine. I won't sing. Fine. 
but I, I, I think people, most people like my singing voice, but fine, fine, we, I'm saying, yeah, fine. You're done Santa Claus, don't know why it's called that, because Santa Claus doesn't even take a year off. Santa Claus is done with all this shit, so he lays in bed being a lazy ass, and basically, he tries to skip out on Christmas, but then he sees a card, and then he hears the blue Santa Claus, the blue Christmas song, he's like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing, I'm gonna get out, you know, I'm actually gonna do something. I don't do anything all the rest of the year, because I'm lazy, so basically, like, it's kind of funny to me how he's like, I'm taking a holiday, even though basically, that's like the one day of the year you work. I mean, technically, he's working all year just to get all the presents ready, but still, it's like the one day you get out, and then you're just like, nah, I don't feel like doing this. Anyways, I like that. I love the Miser Brothers. It's like my favorite part of the special, completely. Then, um, next one we have here is, um, Nestor the Long Nose, um, not the, yeah, not the, not the freaking Long Nose. What the freaking, the Long Eared, um, right now, that's not even a right. Nestor the Long Eared Donkey. Yep, it's a Christian thing. He's the donkey that, that took Jesus... And Mary and Joseph to the the stable or whatever to Bethlehem, and they had birth. That that's the magical donkey, you know, because his ears were a blanket for Mary, and he was he helped. This is kind of a stupid special. Um, it's okay, special. I don't watch it all the time, but hey, it's okay. It's okay, and it's kind of interesting because everyone was such a dick to this guy. It's kind of like Dumbo, but with Christian. Everyone was so terrible to him, but when he came back, he was a hero. Even though they don't even know what he did, everyone was, like, forgiven. Like, even the entire special, they hated him, but then once he came back home, everyone loved him. It didn't make sense at all. Special on this, this is one of my favorites. Um, actually, not that much of a favorite, but still pretty good. Rudolph's Shiny New Year, because Rudolph needs to save the new year for some reason. I don't know why the hell Santa thought <laughs> Rudolph was going to save the year. I don't understand. Plus, this special also has a character with big ears, and everyone laughs at him and hates him because he has b big ears. And Rudolph could connect because he has a shiny nose. He's a freak. Rudolph is a freak, people. I, I understand that. I, if you see a red-nosed reindeer, wouldn't you start running? You would start running. You think that's a demon, okay? But let's all be serious here. Let's all be serious. Rudolph is a freak. Rudolph is a freaking freak, okay? Okay, yeah, Rudolph's showing you here. Yeah, next disc we have here is Jack Frost with disc three. Jack Frost, it's an okay special. Jack Frost does some shit. He does other stuff. Yeah. Then we have one of my favorite specials, Rudolph and Frosty's um, fourth Christmas in July. The crossover I never thought I wanted. <laughs> Frosty and Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger in one movie. It's a movie, too. It's an hour and 30 minutes long, so it's a very, very long special. But it's a great one. I love watching this every year, even though it takes place in the in July 4th. Not even a Christmas movie, really. It takes place in July. In a circus. And for a while, I thought it was the mailman from, um, what's it called? At first, like, the ice cream guy, I thought it was the mailman from the freaking Santa Claus movie. Like, the Santa Claus is coming to town. But it wasn't. It surprisingly wasn't. But that's kind of what... But I still love this special. I just love it. And also, like, the, like, also they explain why Rudolph has a red nose, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah, love it. Um, next one is the, um, the new Miser Brothers Christmas special, which came out, like, in 2008. Surprise, I can't believe how old that is. I didn't really, I knew it came out, like, years ago, but I didn't realize it came out in 2008. So, wow, this special is, like, really old at this point. It's freaking 10 years, like, 11 years, wow. Yes, wow. Okay, so yeah, that's really it on that disc. So is this worth buy? Sort of. Um, there's another set that actually has a lot more in it. But the thing about this thing, it comes with Jack Frost and it comes with uh, the Miser Brothers Christmas special, which um, the other one does not contain. So in that aspect, it's sort of worth buy. I still want to get the other set, so stay tuned for that probably next year. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's really it for me. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.